everybody Adam Luce here welcome back to another video moving weight fishing and today we are not in Jupiter Florida anymore we're in New Hampshire with my boy Peter and we just got on an absolutely crazy striper bite caught countless striper lures live bait everything had them blowing up behind the boat you guys are gonna want to watch this video let's dive right into it all right what are we doing right now Peter catching some live mackerel first step to catching striped bass Guys, we just got here in New Hampshire. He picked me up from Boston Airport this morning. The weather's absolutely beautiful. He's dealing little little mackerel right now. This is unbelievable. You guys know I love my sardine fishing. Look at this, whacking them. Oh, the little big, little big, but here's one. Check it out. Hold him up close for the camera. Beautiful bait. That one's a little big, but. I've always seen these on TV. I never thought I'd be actually in person catching one. This is crazy. Weather's beautiful, it's like 75 degrees, and um, we're gonna go striper fish today, so stay tuned. We're in them now, Peter. Yes, we are, sir. They're chewing. I thought sardines were pretty back home in Jupiter, Florida, boys and girls. These mackerel are sick, baby. Oh my god. They're tornadoing you at the house. Very nice, baits. Very nice. I literally feel like I'm fishing for beans. This season's raggedy, dude. I think we should go to the fucking hill. This quick as fuck, too. Oh my god, the jig's so cold. Is it really? Yeah, it's crazy. Wow, dude, is that why you use the heavy lens? Yeah. And we double rig, we do two of these at a time. Yeah, I don't have a. I have some type of. Very pollock guy. Is it a pollock? Yeah, that's a pollock. That's a pretty good one. Actually, no, he's large. Mine's good. Oh my god. He is so cold. <laughs> so I guess this is a pollock. That's a sick looking fish, dude. Kind of raggedy. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm laid up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Dude, that's what you need a heavy lead, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy tangleage, Peter. They're chewing. Nice ass mackerel. Yo, it's not mackerel. It feels herring ass. It feels like nice ass greenies. I'm feeling my greens from back home. No way. Nice mackerel. Oh, greeny S for a second there. <laughs> oh, very greeny S. These baits are chewing right now. This mark is egregious, too. Is that a D mark? Yeah, it's a D mark and a half. Look at him tornadoing me under the boat. See how I'm not getting tangled up anymore? No tomfoolery. We got plenty of bait. We got like four dozen baits or so. We are about to leave, run back to pretty much Peter's house and lay up on some striper. Let's see what we can do. See if we can't lay up on a couple of them. Definitely. Oh my God. Peter's like me, just can't stop bait fishing. I'm about to, oh, I got to drop. I got to drop. We'll see a striper fishing. All right, we just rolled up to the spot. Peter says it's going to be instant. We just threw the hook. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. All I know is we got nice hot baits. That's all I know. I'm going to put the head mount on for you guys and Dude, we're shallow. No. We're in six feet of water. That's all we need. That's crazy. Look, you see bottom. That's nuts. Put the head mount on, pitch a live bait out, and then I'm getting an NLBN rigged up. We'll see what happens. Here is the setup we got. 
We got a circle hook, sadly. You guys know I don't like circle hooks, but we have to deal with it. What is this, like 30 pound liter? 25. 25, and then a little float. Air float. And then we got, oh my God, these are, dude, the water's so cold, I could freaking swim in here. Little, very petite mackerel. No sucking them. Oh, look at that thing. That thing's gonna get crushed. Pitch them, pitch them straight out of the back. Dude, they, they're gonna crush an NLBN. With a three quarter, yeah, 100%. 100%, I'm ringing it right now. I'm gonna take one cast with this thing. Oh, I just got smoked right there. Do you see it? No, yeah. Get him, get him, get him. Real, 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 real. Little guy. Little striper, but still a striper. Did you get eight? Yeah, I saw him smoke it right there. All right, we are fishing for a slot striper today. What's that, Peter? 28 to 35. 28 to 35. You ate? Yeah, circle hook really doing his job here. Oh, half the fish circle hooks, blah, 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 blah. All right, first ever striper. Beautiful fish, just a little guy though. You're gonna let him go, catch a big one. See ya, buddy. All right, I'm gonna let my bait soak, and I'm rigging up an OBN. That was so sick. He just laid up on it right there. Circle hook life for young loose. He'll come back for the scraps. Dude, I'm not, I hope you know, my, I'm not throwing another bait. I'm about to throw a lure and he's gonna smoke. They're, chew, they're chewing. Oh my God, spit it again, bro. Probably just a smaller fish. Yeah, or it's double hook, this is the bigger bait. Yeah, it's small fish. He had a big bait, dude. It'll turn, one of these will turn Bro, this is just like snook fishing. This is so sick. This is sick, dude. A little bit bigger. Yeah, circle hook really doing its work here. Wow. I think we got a slot here, boys and girls. I don't know. Did he have followers? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he's slot short. Short? I think so. Where's followers small? Damn. Followers Why didn't they eat you? Yeah, he's short. Still a pretty fish. That was as soon as I, I cast my bait in the water, he laid up on it. Wow, that's a pretty sightseeing. Oh, cold water feels so nice. See ya. Come on, that was a nice fish. Oh, he smoked it. No way. Yes, dog. I don't know oh, if it's... Pull him off. No, I got him. I got him. I don't think he's big. For a second, I touched the water. They're back. Get the NLB in there. Get the NLB in. It's just a dink. Beautiful. Yeah, it was. He just looks like a pollen. Yeah, probably. He just smoked the NOVN. That was two bites in a row. Little guy, but little striper on the NOVN. No, yes. That's sick. Oh, oh he just turned. Dude, he got all my wet. All right, so we just we just moved locations. Cut about seven or eight fish at the first spot and then the tide went slack, bite completely shut off. I caught one on the NLBN. I don't know what to expect, you know what I mean? Never fished here before, it's shallow, a lot shallower than I thought. So I was just popping off on bottom, caught that one small one. Now we got baits sitting. They are soaking very organically. Hopefully lay up on a big striper, hoping for a slot so we can do a catch clean cook for you guys, that is the goal. 
And I think Peter's getting bit right here, but I can't call it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You get him? Yeah. Five action. Little guy. Little guy. That's cute. You want a picture with that one? Yeah. Hoping for bigger. Get him, get him. Oh, that looks nice. Get him. Lay up on him. Peter's on. Oh! Ooh. You pulled hook on him? Pulled hook on him. No. That was a decent one. Was it? Oh, one oh, 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 watch this. Watch this. Better blow it out of the Please blow it out of the water. Please. Please, look at this. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Hold it. Let me throw that on again. Ooh! Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, he get just him. ate it. He just oh, ate he it. He yeah, he did, yeah, he did. He hit him. Yo, it's a nice one, it's a nice one. I think, bro. I don't know. They're eating all the freaking surfonius. Oh, it's way bigger head shakes, Peter, bro. Come on. Come on. Make the settlements cut, baby. Oh, is he hooked all right? Yeah, he's hooked all right. Hit him, baby. Oh, he's barely, 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 barely Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was Don't you lose my slot fish. I swear to God, you Nantucket her. Come on, baby. Oh, he's basically gonna pull. <laughs> You're making me laugh. He's slot. Yeah, he must Yeah, he's definitely 28. Yes! Yes, yes bro. I'm, we just put a slot in the boat. I'm, I'm trying to have Peter film me for a second so I can show you guys the slot fish. This thing just got railed. Peter? I can't call it. I got it now. Wait, what are we allowed? One per person? Yeah. We only need one. That one's a little short. Yeah. We can keep two. I'm not even putting another bait out. The next thing I'm doing is putting the NLBN out. All right, beautiful striped bass here. 28 inches, circle hook right in the top of his mouth. Just like that, just popped out. We're gonna go ahead, take a couple pictures, throw this fish on ice, and hopefully, hopefully catch a 40 incher. If not, this is dinner for sure, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Check out Peter's charter business, baby. Gotta catch a striper. <laughs> I'm throwing that on behind, dude. Gonna get smoked. There. Oh my God, he just, just oh smoked the NOBN, bro. Smoked it. Did you see that thump? Oh my, oh my God. They're chewing right now. You got a nice one? Dude, he thumped the dog out of it. This one's not bad, bro. All the NOBN, baby, doubles. That thump was sick, too. Uh, oh my, are you? Kidding me, I just broke your rod. They're chewing right now. He just crushed the five inch paddle tail. I just broke the rod tip on this thing. Look at this, less than ideal. But if you guys want to purchase these NLBNs, I have a link down below and you can save 15% off using code ADAM15. Catch stripers, snook, literally everything. See you, bud. He, he looks real heavy, dude. Come on, see if we can get another one on the NLBN. All right, slinging it back there. What do you got, giant? No, no, I haven't even seen Dude, he's head, oh yeah, he's nice. Ah. He's just a chub. Dude, why did he throw down? I'm just straight retrieving it just like this. Come on, come, oh! Oh my God, they're oh my chewing, God. dude! They're chewing this thing! No Bro, this is the blown out reel. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I have another spot. No, it doesn't matter. I think this one's not bad. Dude, they're thumping the dog out of this thing right now. <laughs> Little sunset striper chew, baby. You know me. I know, Peter. Hey, you gotta throw this thing. They're eating it so good. Oh my god. Code's live for the next 72 or 48 hours. I don't know, whatever it is. That might even be another keeper, bro. Oh my God. Dude, I think that is on the NLBN. On the NLBN, smoked it. <laughs> is he? Yeah, he yeah, is. He is. You want to keep, I mean, we don't need him. We can give it to someone though. Just that, right. now we're limited out. We can say we limited out. Straight back, and I'm just straight retrieving it. Watch the thumb, they go doop. 
Oh my God, he dumped the crap out of it right there. No. Peter, bro, that's three cash. You gotta throw this thing. Try a bigger bait and see if they'll eat the straight tail. I throw this thing. Throw this thing right now first. A shark won't come up and eat that? No, it's not shark. Must be nice. Florida would not get eaten immediately. Yeah, it gets smoked. What? Yeah, you couldn't do that in Florida. Hooking a big tinker mackerel, Jay. A big one. What would eat these baits in Florida? Everything. Kingfish would sky these things out of the water. Wahoo. Really? Yeah, bro. It'd be nuts. Oh! oh my God. Dude, that is that nice. a... That looks like a nicer fish, no? Dude, that was, that was so sick. Oh, I just got bumped right here. Come on. Come on. Oh my God, bro. Just crushed me right there. Right there. Oh my God, it's got insta crushed. Instant crushed. They're back. They're coming back get him, through. Get him, get him. Did I miss him? Oh yeah, I did. He's going to eat it again. Instantly, the second I hit the water, he ate it. Oh, he's, he's a little guy. He's messing with it again. So light dragon, okay. okay? It's a big one. Yeah, it is. Dude, we both just saw it slowly bend. We're like, oh. It was like a tuna bite. <laughs> it was. Oh my God, big head shake, dude. Giant. It's a giant. Come on. Come on, don't break off. It's a giant. You let me free I am. Dude, he, come on! Are you getting low? No, I still got line, just get it off. Are you in the mono? No! Right here. Giant fish, dude, he won't. Dude, this is the one! He's in the I rock. I'm not, bro. No, 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 I'm in, I'm in the mono! No way! There's not a lot of lines on that. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Giant, look at this, rubbing bad, bad. I'm coming, I'm coming. In more weed, dude, this thing's. Ow. We're clear, we're clear. There's the leader. Giant, giant. Giant? Giant, giant. For real? Giant. Big dog, big dog. I'm gonna grab it for me. That's the trip, that's the fish you came in here talking for. <laughs> Ready, baby? Wait, wait. Get him, baby! Get him, baby! Get him, baby! Get him, baby! Get him, Get him, baby! Get him, baby! Get him, baby! Get him, Get him, baby! 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 I gotta, I gotta put the camera on. All right, we just put this giant fish in the boat. Who's caught up in all the weeds? I'm gonna give Peter the camera and we're gonna hold him off. It's a unit, bro. Thank you, Peter. No problem. It's a giant. Look at this fish. So pretty. Unbelievable. How big you say it was? 37? Yeah, 37 and a half. 37. You're right there. 37. He's so fat, though. 38. 38. I don't care. He's close. That's close to 40. Stuff. Giant, my biggest striper. Caught my first striper today. Caught my biggest one. It's been an absolutely epic day. Make sure you go check out Peter's Charter Business. I'll have a link down below. Go book a charter with him. You want to get in some crazy fishing like this. We've been throwing lures, live bait, everything. They've been eating behind the boat. It's been absolutely insane. We're going to snap a couple of pictures and let this big girl go. Definitely going to revive her. Didn't really fight that hard. It fought hard, but we had to drive to it to get it out of the weed. So didn't waste all of its energy. I'm just gonna hold this fish for a second. Look at that beautiful striper. That's so sick. All right, here we go. Nice beautiful. Release. Real quick before we show you guys a couple more stripers. If you guys would like to purchase a new pair of glasses, if you don't have a pair of glasses or if you do, and you're looking for a better pair, a cheaper pair and a more reliable pair, Go to buyoceanize.com. I'll have a link down below and you can use code ADAM10 at checkout. These are the Salty Dogs. These are my regular like blue mirrored lens. I'll have the exact pair link down below. Best glasses on the market, no questions asked. Go check them out. And it helps the channel. Also, drop a like on the video and make sure you're subscribed.
Eat it. I got that. Wait, wait. That's a big fish? Yeah. Nah, no, that's a big guy. Ding? He's slot. Eh, maybe just short. Probably, but yeah, he is. We already got a limit. Watch, it's definitely 28. Maybe just short. Yeah, short. Inch or two short. Alrighty, everyone. It is the next day after striper fishing, and we are now on Peter's big commercial boat. This is a boat we're tuna fishing on tonight, which is hopefully the next video you'll see. If we catch one, we're going to catch one. But... Peter's gonna hold the camera real quick. I'm gonna clean these striper and then we're gonna take them back to the house and cook them up. Fish have been on ice all night. Beauty. All right, I think that this is gonna taste just like a snook. Peter's very suspect, but you know, that's just the type of guy that Petey is here. So, I love snook back home in Jupiter. One of my favorite fish to eat. And look at that. Looks just like a snuff. You have confidence in my cooking skills, Pete? I guess so. That sounded like a very firm no. <laughs> All right, there's filet number one. Looks just like a snook, like I said, except for it doesn't have the little black lines in it like a snook does, or black spots, whatever it is. I'm gonna clean this other side in a minute. But right now, it's raggedy right there. I'm gonna skin it. You guys already know how to do all this. And you already know I'm playing with a Dexter knife. If you guys would like to purchase any Dexter knife, go to their website, DexterOutdoors.com. I'll have a link down below and you can use code ADAM20 at checkout and save 20% off. Holy smokes, I got a big bloodline. Yeah. Why is it such a cold fish that got such a big bloodline? I have no idea. That's why I didn't really eat it that much, you know? I used to eat it when I was growing up, but I haven't eaten it in a while. Holy smokes, look at that thing. All right, we're gonna have to do some serious trimmage. That's good. No, it's not. Super lean fish, doesn't like look like they have a lot of fat. Now oh, they have some fat right here. All right. Look at how dark it is. That would not taste good. There's some bloodline that you can leave in a fish, and there's also some where you can just look at it and be like, yeah, we're cutting that out. Because we got two fish, we got plenty to eat. That should be good enough. Oh gosh, it's cold. New Hampshire Nantucket water. Get all the extra. Tom Swankery off there. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful piece of meat. We're gonna bag this up. I'm gonna fly the drone for a little bit, show you guys New Hampshire because it's absolutely beautiful. And then we're cooking it. See you in a little bit. All right, we just got back to Peter's house and he's got his buddy Tom here, which is his mate. You guys will see him in tomorrow's tuna video. Hopefully if we catch one. And uh, Peter's dad owns a really popular restaurant right down the street from him called Petey's. And he picked up a bunch of supplies for this fish sandwich that we're gonna make. So super clutch, we didn't have to go to the grocery store. Got the seasoning, got some rice, got the fish, got tomatoes and lettuce and all that good stuff in there. Tartar sauce. And I'm giving the camera to Pete. I'm gonna cook a little fish sandwich for me and Tom. We got a little bit of blackened seasoning from Peter's restaurant and his dad's restaurant. And we're just gonna go a little heavy on one side and the other side, not so much. But we're going super simple. This is all we're doing to the fish. And then I'm putting some butter in the pan. This is super white meat. I know it's gonna be good. Peter's not a huge fan of striper. 
don't know. It looks good to me. I guess we'll find out. I'm very suspect. But I'm very, very suspect on Peter from the start, so. So, I just put butter on the pan. It's on low heat right now. We're going to come over here, Peter. And sorry about the fan noise. We just don't want it to get all steamy in this joint. I'm just going to go ahead and lay that right in there. And then kind of, kind of just saute in one side, you know, and then the other side I'm really going to black it. A little heavier the seasoning. I don't know what type of seasoning this is. Let's just hope it's good. Let's hope it's good. That's it. And then I'm going to turn the heat up. I'm going to let one side kind of cook a little bit. And then the other side, turn the heat up and get it really crispy. All right, we've been letting it cook for about three, four minutes. And come over here, you can see. Look at that. It's kind of white halfway through a little bit, but the inside's definitely still pink. So now we are going to turn this John to medium high. Flip them. Dude, I hope I didn't go too heavy with the season. I think you might have a little bit. Still blacking off. Looks nice. You look nice, Pete. Thanks. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna get it nice and crispy on this side. Do a little bit more lemon. A little bit more lemon. You know me. That's good. We're going to let it sit probably two minutes now. And then we're going to toast the buns and all that good stuff. Tomato, lettuce, Tom for Tom. Oh, Alright, I just turned the heat off. I just tested it. Before it goes right through it effort, effortlessly, just like that. We know the fish is done. Perfect, nice and crispy. What am I looking for? A plate. Looking for a plate. Right there. Okay, now I'm gonna take, take my fish. I'm scaring Pete here. Here we go. Beautiful, just like that. And I'm throwing the leftover butter that we had back into the pan. I'm just gonna put my buns facing down like that. A couple nice brioche buns, you know me. We got our buns all toasted. Is this, your dad makes his tartar sauce, right? Yes. Yeah, so I'm definitely not gonna try and make it when Pete's dad makes it. Probably makes it 100 times better than me. Just gonna lather it up on there. Nice piece of, nice piece of bass, just like that. And then I'm doing, you like tomato? Yeah. One tomato, a little bit of lettuce, right? You know me? And then pickles, two pickles, just like that. Come on. I can tell me you don't like that, Pete. I can tell me you don't like that. All right, we're letting Tom be the judge here. Oh, can't forget, we got uh, we got rice from Petey's again. Shout out to Petey's for just supplying it. Tom? You got to take a bite on camera. Let me know right now. Let me know. That was a piece of just the fish. Yeah, you can't lie, Tom. A1. Don't lie, Tom. A1. Don't A1. lie. So should I make Petey one? Uh-huh. Peter needs one. Will you like it? For real? How you not how you not like a grilled fish sandwich, I mean? Or blackened or whatever. No, I just like that. That's a fat. Very fat fish sandwich. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna let you know. Literally tastes like snuff. No different. <laughs> I knew it would. Look, nice and flaky, just like this. Beautiful. Yeah, bass is really good. I like it a lot. Yeah, it was good. Surprised me there. Nice job. You know me, Chef Malouche. I'm not Victor or anything, but <laughs> I try. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grub on that fish sandwich. It was super good. I want to say thank you so much to Peter and his family for having me at the house and him having me out while, we're, while I'm here in New Hampshire. 
Like I said, go check out his charter business, link down below. If you guys would like to purchase a shirt or a pair of glasses, I, like I will it. also have links down below to that too. Movingweightfishing.com and then bioceanize.com. Go browse both websites. That is all day one trip in New Hampshire. Next video is Bluefin Tuna. Fingers crossed we're going tonight. Till next time, moving weights out. Thank you.